Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha, if you are new here, and today's video is going to be on giving. So, in my opinion, and what I have seen with myself and other people is giving is usually about the person and being like the giver is usually the person being about a good person. So when you give to someone else, there isn't really like a respect or like reverence there. It's more about, I'm a good person. I'm giving to you. Um, you're lower than me. And so look at me. I'm a good person. This is why giving can be very draining for people. Um, giving is basically having a connection with someone else, either with when you give money to someone else or when you give food to someone else or a part of yourself to someone else. There is that link in that connection. Connection actually breeds opportunity, and opportunity breeds abundance. So abundance is anything that repeatedly appears or has you have a lot of. So it doesn't necessarily have to mean money. So connection you is has an availability to open new doors to new people or new experiences so basically giving is the gateway to a lot of other things so I like to consider it like the giving tree um, and the reason why I brought this video up and I hopefully it will be beneficial is I actually asked a person the other day when's the last time that they spoke to a homeless person and I don't mean like approaching them and asking how, how long have you been on the streets like really having a conversation with them um, and I really feel like this is kind of important because homelessness is a, a pretty big epidemic uh, in America at least and hum homeless people are human beings like they're most people kind of think that oh I can never end up like that or that I'm not really like them but if you ever actually stop to talk to one they're really intelligent um, a lot of them kind of have this stigma with like drugs or alcohol or whatever so people tend to be really judgy or they judge people because they panhandle or um, maybe they're not well kept or clean or they kind of don't know a lot about them so they're kind of fearing the unknown if you ever actually stop to talk to one most of them are in my experience very intelligent um now, if you see, like, someone that is obviously, like, under the influence or something, I wouldn't obviously recommend going up to them. But my other statement to that is 90% of the population is on drugs and alcohol. 90%. Um, I, I don't really know that many people that are not on some sort of substances. Um... And the fact that a lot of people judge other people for being on the streets and doing drugs and alcohol is kind of beyond me because most people have some sort of coping mechanism, where whether it's food, television, pharmaceutical drugs, like those, to me, for someone to judge someone else for, for being on drugs or alcohol, I feel like it's kind of hip hypocritical if you were to look at it like that so a, lo a lot of people say well I don't want to give my money to someone that's going to spend it on drugs or alcohol I think that is amazing and that's definitely your opinion um, but to be honest most homeless people want someone to, to talk to um, I want you to imagine that you're trying to get by in life every day and People pass you by, they stare at you, they judge you, and someone might stop and offer a soda or, you know, put a few cents in your jar or whatever, and they walk off. If you have that little bit interaction every day, do you think that would be enough? So, um, the reason why I'm bringing this video up is because I feel like people, um, have the impression that if they give 
that they're kind of like doing it because I'm a good person when really that person, any individual that you get to is in fact a still a human being and is still a functioning human being is still, you know, has the same wants and desires. And, um, my question would be is if you knew that someone would hurt you in the future, would you still help them now? Or would you still um, give to them now, knowing that they will hurt you in the future? Why or why not? So it's very interesting. I actually asked myself this question. Um, some people might think that if you knew someone else would hurt you in the future and you still help them, it would be kind of ignorant. Okay. My statement to that would be, if you're saying no, that you're not going to help someone because you know that they might steal from you or hurt you in the future, then what you're doing is you're putting basically a standard to when or when not you're going to give. So really the giving is about you and not that connection. That's why I like to make it clear in my experience that giving should be about like a reverence and like a respect for both parties so that you're in the space of like neutrality so that it's less about you and more of the both parties um, and I just use homelessness as an example because it is a, a pretty big epidemic um, and I really have a heart for people that are misunderstood and um, that need like love and like everyone else. So the question of the day is, if you knew someone would hurt you in the future, would you still help them? Why or why not? And there is no right or wrong answer to this question. It is just the question of the week. So thank you guys so much for watching and I really appreciate you. And I will leave my um, information to my Spotify podcast in the description box below as well as my other availabilities for content that I have. Thank you guys so much and have a beautiful day. Bye.